Somebody go on my sister live and tag OT Genesis, cause this nigga taking these hands. Hi What's up, peeps, and welcome back to the Lionel B Show. It's your first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, some of y'all, if y'all are not receiving my brand new videos, man, make sure you hold down the bell button and make sure it says all instead of personalized. Now, the beat between OT Genesis and Keisha Cole is reaching new levels. Now, I think this quarantine got everybody out of their walls are closing in on me mind. Now, you remember OT remade Keisha Cole's hit song, Love, All in Fun, and called it Crippin'. It's arguably the worst remix in history that sounded more like Howlin' and Keisha Cole agreed with it as well. She initially got upset and then kind of let it go. Get to this OT Genesis song. Now, how do you guys feel about the song? So I see some of you like it and some of you don't. Is that what's going on here with this song? With, the, with this um, OT Genesis song? He be in his own world. His song good, hop on it. I love it, he a fool for it. Um, what's the name of the song? Uh, I think it's called Crippin' if I ain't mistaken. Never knew what I never knew that I was scripted, but he started popping a, a, a Uzi or something. He did it to make people laugh. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I mean, you know what? Honestly, it's always so like crazy for me to see when other artists sing that song in particular because <laughs> it's just so funny. I hated that song when I recorded it, but you know, I mean from everybody to Bruno Mars. He made a video for um, for a Valentine's Day. I was like, that's crazy. I mean, he sung the whole song, but he sung it the way I wrote it. And I'm just used to that. So I felt like it was a real surprise when I heard him do it in a different way. So that that's where, um, you know, my confusion came in at. But I think it's funny as hell, you know. Definitely think it's funny. I think he is playing. I don't, I don't, I'm not taking. I don't. I don't think. Well, it, uh, I mean, he might be serious. You know, he could be. He do be crippling. So, so there it is. Okay. Now, OT wasn't done with her yet, as he kept the troll train going and occasionally added her on social media. He finally went live and told his viewers that her box stunk and Keisha Cole got heated. Boom. So now, I'm like, all right, so I knocked that out, boom. She get high, whoa, whoa, whoa. So now I started, I was like, you know what? You playing with me, I'm gonna show you what it is. But I was being petty, but I was having fun, you feel me? It's turned into some other It stopped, said something about me again. And then after that, you know, old girl jumped in it, and so I got on her. Family really fucked up. I shouldn't even really be talking about their family like that, but she started talking about my son and all kinds of That's the only reason why I kept it going. Bitch started talking about my son, I'm like, and then other like, yeah, you're not supposed to say nothing. I'm like, bitch, you gonna let now you're gonna see on this next clip right here, OT Genesis definitely snaps. He was done talking, he was done being nice. This is what he said next. You too damn bitch sucker. With A's in it. Fucking bitch. Bitch playing with my kids. I'm not finna argue with y'all. Y'all go buy her album then. What the fuck? I ain't my live then. Go in that fat bitch live. We'll see what the fuck she doing. I don't be I don't be doing nothing about it. Everybody just bother me. Now she got like somebody. Fat ass auntie on there doing something. I, I now it's just it's just out of hand. Now. now I'm just done. I just said what I had to say. Your mom's a cat. Talk about my son, but because she a woman, I'm not supposed to say nothing. Bitch, you got up. I don't give a. You're not supposed to say. Why you think I said? Why you think I hit him with the? All right. How you let me in? 
Nobody let her know what happened. Cool. I love every woman in the world. Just not them. That. I ain't, I ain't, old girl, I ain't tripping off old girl no more. But, you know, old girl, I'm not even trying to say your name. But the, the fat one with the rose in her neck and all that, the one that got her. Huh? Now her sister Cafeteria, I meant Nefeteria, came on live and clapped the handicap sign off of OT's rearview mirror. She said, I will never respect a greasy, disrespectful shadow of a man coming for a woman who has said nothing about you. Men with mommy issues trying to tear down women, I know you got bullied in school and was always denied by the pretty girls clearly. Um, is this the new normal? We gonna sit here and let him do that and think it's funny? Sir, continue to chase after a woman that is still trying to keep up with a Kardashian. And you claim to be this gangster. Crip walk your A to take care of that baby. Maybe if some fish sticks was in your mouth, you would finally shut it. And being that, you know, it's beef with a woman. So I can understand why the men in her family wanted to protect Keisha Cole's honor as well. Now, one of her peoples actually hopped on live, man, and went in on OT Genesis. And he wants to put them hands on OT. Y'all check this out right here. Everybody go on my sister live and tag OT Genesis. Cause this nigga taking these hands. Tag his, bitch, his dad. Tell his bitch. Tell like I said his son a whole bitch. His mama a bitch. Your daddy a bitch. Your sister a bitch. I hope your son get in the ass. Yeah. Pussy ass now, nigga. What's up, nigga? I want all that, nigga. Now the clapping at OT is definitely real. It looks like he done definitely pissed off damn near all of Keisha Cole's family and it don't look like it's gonna get better anytime soon. Now all of this actually started out from just a simple song, him having fun and Keisha Cole took offense to it. Do y'all feel like she should have really got that upset or was OT Genesis completely out of line? And also with them actually throwing shots at OT Genesis' son, do y'all feel like that was okay? You know, is it all fair and love and war? I think the thing pretty much spiraled out of control. It was something that was kind of meant to be a joke. He just wanted to have some fun with it. I don't really think he was re honestly trying to monetize it, even though he was performing it, things like that. It was just a time, you know, to be, have a little bit of fun, and everything in life is already serious anyway. And for it to take that particular direction, that is a crazy thing. I, I just really can't believe that it's gotten to this level. Now, also, y'all already know OT Genesis, he's pretty damn nutty. So I'm pretty sure he's going to come back again with some more smoke, especially for brother. I mean, he, he's definitely going to come back, man. And this stuff right here could certainly spill into the streets where it was just meant from a song. Can y'all imagine if things turn around really drastically when it wasn't really even meant to be all of that? Now, OT Genesis' weird attempt at an apology actually caught everybody off guard. He said, look at Keisha Cole. I was really just joking on that IG live. S. People scream, record, and blow it out of proportion. Make a ninja really look thirsty. I ain't tripping. He said, I just be playing with you because you played with me. I ain't tripping off you, cuz. It's all just fun. I apologize if I was disrespectful. P.S. Don't disrespect me neither for your ninja have to carry your weight. Hashtag I'm done with this. Now basically Keisha Cole came right back on Twitter and she said he apologized with a threat. But all good, I'm glad it's over, hopefully. So it seems like Keisha Cole definitely does not want that smoke with OT Genesis. You know, I mean, I just think the whole thing spiral out of control. But I mean, being that her peoples is actually talking stuff to OT Genesis, it's actually going to transform into a whole new level. I don't think it's actually just going to stay where it is. It's going to get out of control because y'all know men handle things a lot differently than women. Sometimes worse, sometimes better, but definitely different. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. Share these videos, and I'm going to peep y'all on the next one. Holla. Fun, flirty, flingle. A new dating app that allows you to connect with the people you actually want to meet. Find your potential mate in your area or anywhere. After all, love doesn't happen in nightclubs. It's not a fling. It's fun dating for singles. Download Flingle today.